Hello, my name is Ethan and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Delirium League 3.10. In this episode, I, well last night, uh, good morning guys, how you guys doing? Uh, last night when I was streaming near the end right before I went to bed, I decided to put out a post on YouTube, uh, submit your build for a review for my upcoming Path of Exile Delirium video. That's what I was telling people. I'm going to go through builds and uh, help them out so they provide their profile name, the POB link, the problem with the build, and what they need help with the most. So a few people did it. Uh, it wasn't that much time, so hey, thanks to the people who did. Uh, Dark. Bobo is this guy's profile. Blood Rainer is the account. Uh, okay, so first we need to read the message so we understand what we're looking at for the build. And basically he says that he remade his Jug, uh, Juggernaut, Herald of Agony character to a Necro. Okay. And so the DPS is better. That makes sense because you have all the extra Necromancer uh, minion stuff from the Necromancer Ascendancy, like plus two minion damage. Um... It's very interesting. So he says, I have a rather high block, 2.4k HP, 2k ES, mind over matter. Um, not much. Res capped with the jewels. He's not sure where to get more. He In tier 12 to tier 14, he has to spam flash. And he lacks freeze burn immunity. He used lone messenger for 25% more from the Herald of Agony, but dumped it. Um, he's unsure of how to get more damage. He's like, should I toss in an aura? Should I switch the head for more mana? He's just going, I don't know. Uh, he, he's telling me what he's tried. So overall, any ideas to get more damage, defense, cheap, best. Haha. <laughs> okay, so first, uh, I had to pull up Path of Building. Pulled up his character, uh, Blood Rainer, Passive Tree, Item Skills, Herald of Agony. That... Is it tail swipe? Is this the projectile one? It's not the cleave. Mortars the... It could be default too. Yeah, we're going to go with tail swipe. Okay, so then we look at... Cold iron point. Shield. Block. Energy shield. Recover. He's got... Oh wait, he might have... Yes. Boom. That's how I do my um, anointing, I mean allocating when I go to skill trees. Just click the end of the the allocated, like, like boom, and uh-oh. Does he want that? Yeah, probably. He probably wants that. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Wait, how many points is this voices? Oh my god, he has a, wait, he doesn't use anything in there. Okay, he probably doesn't use it. A two-point jewel socket not being used? Wait. There you go. Okay, so that's already an upgrade. Uh, I like this. You're using the uh, thing to get the... Wait a minute. Fortress Covenant. That's cool putting it there you could put it here as well so that you don't have the downside and then you can take this life if you want to um what the hell is going on okay wow this is a lot of a mess you have really got yourself into a pickle sir <laughs> 2300 life some mana you have es this is a full-on oh my god how did you manage you use this for the extra agony to projectiles 10 percent of mana as es 8 percent of damage taken gained as mana over four seconds one hit cannot leech mana you got Lionized Vision for Pierce. Um, is that where you socket the Herald of Agony? Yup. So then, oh, you only have an Empower 2. But you have Awakened Gems. So 
So you're a block build. You've really been trying to work up your defenses and trying to really min-max this of block and survivability. And then you, you tried to make it also do damage. And you, you, you mixed up the damage options. Also, you only have... Three ascendancy. I'm sure you know that because it was hard to get the fourth one. Um, and you wanted the bone offering. So, what's your block? 56, spell block 38, and that's with mistress bone offering. Uh, it's only a level five. So, what did you complain about the most after now analyzing literally everything about this? Okay. So it sounds like he wants survivability and damage. Okay, so the best way to basically show you this it would be to like redo this. And it kind of seems like you have a decent budget since you have like 7 point voices and all this stuff. I'm not really sure why you would say that you need a budget when you have some crazy items. Like let me go look that up one sec. Okay, this this build blew blew my mind, dude. It take it took me a while. Um, it there's a lot of weird shit where he's like, literally, this guy has looked at eighty builds and combined all of them, and uh, here you have a mess. Okay, so to put this into perspective, he's literally combined block, es mana life. He combined a Doriani, 50% of non-chaos goes through energy shield. Like, this is, he took, <laughs> he took seven passes just for this 5% physical damage reduction and 30% increased armor. Uh, it's like, I don't want to start from his build at all, dude. I would prefer to just, okay, so some things going for him are he has insane damage. He's right. Uh, you see this damage? It's pretty good. Uh, he has two brands on an enemy, 45 railing stacks, but there's so many things wrong. So just, to, just to like name a couple is like, Look at he could level up these empower four boom. It's not that expensive and then he has like awakened things in the build So like he's got to be able to get that look at that damage 200,000 uh, something else I noticed is uh, He he said he was running The Lone messenger for 25% damage, but dumped it and didn't actually like replace it so his aura right now is a arctic armor and he has 28 percent like this build's just left in a ridiculously weird spot where he started with clearly a build he stole and then just swapped it to necro and i'm so confused okay so then i was like okay let's look up some basic stuff to understand what's going on with this build because what? Herald of Agony, I haven't spent any time this season looking at Herald of Agony. Why would you submit this? Oh, God. Well, here we go. So you look at PoE Ninja right now, and what you see is uh, how many people go Necromancer as a Herald of Agony? Nobody. Why? Because why would you go Necromancer? The point of Herald of Agony is that your minion is immune. It can't take da uh, any damage. It's immune. It's It doesn't need Ellie res. It doesn't need Chaos res. It doesn't need um anything level like it doesn't need life it doesn't need anything so you can go juggernaut so now let me show you look at this where's the necros so there's no necros so he started actually he mentions here he started as a juggernaut and switched to necro so uh juggernaut more recommended because that's where you're going to get your survivability is abusing your jug ascendancy and uh, I don't know why you would give all of that up for a little bit of damage, which we can easily get now. Okay, so yeah, your damage is insane anyways. Like now I'll show you this build. So this is the top juggernaut. And uh, he's done some really awesome stuff that I encourage. So some of the first stuff is uh, 
he he did this large which i really hate okay so it's terrible it's a 12 point do you know what you could do on a large in this build uh so you can get renewal uh the other guy showed you could get um rotting claws but yeah renewal's insane i don't know why you would have to, you have to use renewal dude so the first build he was using uh Call to Slaughter. This was decent. There's one option I was thinking about, which is if you go Pure Agonies and you get the extra Virulence and then you get the other one called Disciples. It's the other medium. I think the other guy is using them. Uh, so you run Disciples to have the Virulence lose 30% slower. Um, and you run Pure Agony and you double these. So my idea would be if you combine, I don't think Call to Slaughter would work anymore then because your Agony is going to stay up for a long time and not actually de-summon because you're going to constantly keep him up. So Call to Slaughter doesn't actually work. So what would you get on your large? Well, I think you could grab the two jewel sockets for only uh, five points with the renewal if you get some notables on here and you grab an eight point. Then the second thing is mediums in this build. Look at this. You can get Pure Agony and Disciples. Then you can run, uh, you run two, you run Herald of Agony, Herald of Purity. So you can just run Herald of Purity in your build instead of the stupid Arctic Armor. Sorry, not, I meant like that uh, our aura is dumb, not that you, uh, okay. So then uh, I liked the build because he has this Lion Eyes Vision like you. He does the Cold Iron Point. Uh, Victorio's charity shield so that he gives frenzy charges to his minions instead which just as a quick thing if you didn't care about the shield in your build and you ran Victorio's charity and you got uh, frenzy charges boom and then if you added the two extra levels on your herald of agony and if you actually ran the other stuff, and if you were a juggernaut instead, so you didn't have to worry about defenses, because all you got from this anyways was 300,000. Like, I think we can make up for this ascendancy really easily. Um, and then, yeah, Cold Iron Point, he ran a uh, thing. Uh, your helmet's fine. It's just a, a the enchant. I get it. Um, and the rings... You get the extra damage, and you get the extra damage. I like what you did here. Uh, one thing you missed in the build, is, I put a Quickening Covenant, by the way, in your voices slot, because you had an extra slot, so I put a Quickening Covenant. Also, you missed... Um... Okay, uh, I don't remember what I was going to say, but I found this. Let me show it on, on screen. So eight passive, eight passive, one X, one and a half X, one and a half X, two X. You ready for this? What is it? Uh, primordial bond, raisin pillage, renewal. Okay, let's take a look. If you grab this, slot it into his build in the two. Well, we'll do this. Add to build, because then you run a golem. If you're doing any of these, you just run the golem, uh, and then. It's beautiful, you know? Uh, I can't believe he has a voices. <laughs> the voices cost just as much as this. So yeah, now you can run a renewal. Um, primordial bond. And you can skip the raisin pillage. And so you have a five point. Five point large. So you save points. And you have more damage. Because it's on full life all the time and you have primordial bond so then you can run the golem like chaos golem for the increased physical damage reduction that you want i know exactly what you're trying to do um so you could you could then double stack this like for example instead of the other voices i mean instead of the other yeah instead of the voices you could run this large as well just run a couple of them so i'm showing you how your build could be insane for not very much cost uh, skip this. There you go. You have your quickening, which technically we would have switched the quickening to that other one that you had because uh, you don't need this. I don't know what you had. I don't think you need the dragon hunter. Oh, and then this is where I would recommend those other ones with the pure agony 
and the other one, then you can run Herald of Purity and you go this direction where you double Herald stack and you go two Heralds and uh, your build will be way stronger and it doesn't actually cost very much, it's just different thought process, different, yeah. Okay, then the next step was this thing. You get a uh, minion's deal increased damage, disciples, pure agony 1.3, 1.5. So let's just grab this. Let's slot that into the build as well because these are just way more cool than what we were doing in this build in, in the first place. Let's just also save all these points too. We don't really need that, you know, who cares? Uh, let's get, like I said, some real stuff in here now. So goodbye, Mega. Let's just switch to this medium. Uh, let's just find all the points where I used, uh-huh, oh no, that's my large, uh, what about this? That's a small, I need a medium, is it this one? No, we found one, let's switch it to this, found another, let's switch it to this, okay, let's find out what we just did. That looks pretty powerful. That looks pretty scary. And imagine if you had Herald of Purity in here. So then the point would be just like a random Purity Herald of Purity. Don't, don't need anything on it. You still have mana. Oh my god, it works. Look at your physical damage redu reduction. 40%. Okay, it's working. Uh-huh. Uh, 13, 1.3 million. Uh, Virulence is disgusting now. So this should be 50 you can go up to. Okay. Uh, we're gonna- Oh, yeah! I remembered the item now. Yes! Oh, my God. Golden rule. You need one of these. Uh, so what this does is... Bleeding you inflict is reflected to you. 1% chaos risk per poison on you. Poison you inflict is reflected to you. You need this. It keeps your virulence up. So then, right now, you come back up to here, and you could change this to 50. 50! And then... You could go, well, well, sir, wait, let's just, let's just think about this for a little second. Okay, just give me a sec here, man. Uh, I'm just going to repath. Is it faster through there than going up? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty far for the extra. Wait, where is the brand? Is it this? Yeah, you can have an additional brand that way instead of doing his medium that he did if if we, if we wanted to, but so change the quickening to my medium as well. This takes us up to 60 stacks of Virelins. This doesn't seem right. It seems kind of crazy. Uh, where we'd be wearing the other shield. And then you're still getting the extra purity stuff too. And you're losing the virulence slower. So you're getting the extra physical damage reduction. You're at 60%. Oh my god. What the heck? Uh, and... What was I gonna... Oh yeah, I was gonna see how many Herald of Purities you have. Wait, why doesn't it tell you? You have four normally, and you get... One... So, eight? <laughs> and then we have all these jewel sockets still to put back in those jewels that he wanted and you still path by all this stuff so then I was also going to do this but instead of that jewel instead of that small I want uh, another medium so I'm just trying to show how this build could be absolutely broken oh wait I want the large wait 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 where's the large my large Wait, did this break? 
My large isn't here, dude. Oh, it's because that was a different small, and it won't let me select a thing that can't go there. Okay, ah, oh, yeah, wow, that's really cool, actually. Okay, let's show it again, so five point for this. And you could technically, uh, you can do raise and pillage for two points. And on Herald of Agony, it, it can work if you want this damage, if you think they'll be ignited with the three of them, and having the ignited enemies and the extra fire and all that, sure. Uh, that's a possibility, but renewal is insane. And then, like I showed, you simply just stack. God damn it. it the bar is too long now. We're breaking it. Oh, I fucked up again. I changed back. Oh, do I have to reallocate? Yeah, I changed it back. I went one too far. <laughs> Where's the small? Okay, change this to the large. Then we get to allocate the stoof. Then with that stuff allocated, we get to anno uh, put in a new medium. Just don't scroll when on this page. It's horrible, dude. Okay, we get all those mediums back in. Uh, you go up to 70 stacks of virulence. And you have another two minions, so you go up to 89% physical damage reduction, because that makes sense. And because of the virulence, oh my god, 1.6 million. Um, and then... You, you didn't need to... Do, oh, this is the part that I was wondering. I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, there we go. You didn't need to do that. You still can have your mind over matter. That's fine. You can still have this. That's good. Uh, have your double damage here. 1.55. You can get this. Um, lots of points. This is where I'm just going to do this instead because I like it better. Because I'm a weirdo. There we go. Get this jewel socket. Get this life. I want to get you the golem so you can get the extra stone golem. You need extra dex, sure, man. And this is without changing your items. And technically you don't need to grab the life and stuff because you're some weird hybrid build. I don't really understand. But this is just to show you with 1x, 1.5x large clusters and these 1x mediums, what your build, is, how you scale Herald uh, builds probably. And I wouldn't be doing all this hybrid stuff. I would just do life and go Juggernaut instead of Necro. Um, can I keep this without losing the whole thing? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this with all the things, then having all of these, you could, instead of doing jewels after, you can use those small clusters that you wanted to use. So now with all these, like, look, you could fit this small cluster. You could fit this small cluster. You could fit this small cluster. Sure, dude. Uh-huh. And like they just kind of fit in the build and it's not that bad. I think I put an extra dragon one that I didn't. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, so it fits. You use extra points that maybe I don't spend here or on the golem maybe. But yeah, your physical damage reduction is way over 90. Um, your, your damage went through the roof. This is how you probably stack them. And then with the golden rule that I showed... Using this and having the Varelin stacks going away slower and also having the uh, extra five Varelins and having the extra Sentinel of Purity and then having the physical damage reduction per extra Sentinel of Purity per each one of these disciples. This is how you break this build and so... Herald of Agony is super easy to be super tanky, and I guess that's why you don't need to go Juggernaut. There you go, this is the build, um, and it's not that expensive. Maybe it will be after uh, this video. Wow, that was one build.
But yeah, imagine if you had just done all this and like not the ma mind over matter and not all that a yes and not uh, not this. Like imagine if it was that and you just took life and you didn't have that ES stuff and and you just picked life stuff. It actually fits. And you're only 89. That's the insane part. What the heck is this? 1.6 million immune minions. The jewels weren't that expensive. You go juggernaut. You just start stacking actual real items. This is with presence of Chayula. Onyx, Ami, and like... Weird items. Like this. A mana helmet. Okay, either way, I think that's enough of this build and enough of the Herald of Agony. That's what I would do. You're welcome. Hope this was helpful. I'll also link this POB in the description. I just wanted to sum this up real quick if you weren't clear if it wasn't clear so the medium clusters was a disciples and pure agony because that's what I found to be the best and then your large cluster was the combination of renewal and primordial bond and raise and pillage because of the way it lies it lays it out so you notice that you can get your golem effect your immune minions can't take any damage so they deal double damage pog champ uh herald of agony and then raise and pillage if you really wanted to because rotting claws is a possibility because you there is a champion herald of agony like technically you could rotting claw you should technically you can you can rotting claws and then you can get dread banner and you could still do that for herald of agony it's probably better but it's more expensive i showed you a budget way of getting them with the raisin pillage and then it's only five sockets because the way it lays it out it's really cool um five points for it and you don't have to yeah but two points for rotting claws if you want you pr it's probably way more expensive because i'm describing rotting claws renewal primordial bond which is literally my uh, golem jewel by the way so yeah raise and pillage on the other you sneak this one in here i found a budget way to get a cool jewel yes awesome so large cluster raise pillage renewal primordial bond and the medium was the uh, Herald stuff and then you still have smalls open where you can run any smalls you want or you can run jewel sockets uh, I mean jewels enjoy next build. Let's go boom Okay, we got this guy This character is that problem with defense, okay Here we go shit this part this uh, Delirium watch how easy this is So the only reason I'd have a problem is if he... That's a champion, okay. Man, this is going to be a tough video, dude. <laughs> okay, so my first instinct is your reses aren't capped. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to assume it's got to be that too. Always got all of it. Man, you're that close to another one and you don't take it. That is that is a sin. Like at least this one, you're one, two, three, four, five. It's far, but this one, you're right there, bro. Do you know what league this is? This also confuses me. How this is the pathing that you chose. There's no way. This is cool. But yeah, because of life. Man, I barely path down here. Um, so yeah, fi cold res, chaos res. Those are my first instincts. What was this that got you? Towering threat. 102 life. Uh huh. Near a champion. Let's see what champion does. A thousand armor. So have does it have a thingy for like impaling recently? Have impaled an enemy recently? Taunted an enemy recently? Stunned an enemy recently? Channeling? Am I leeching? Fortify? 
Yeah, what about do we use endurance charges in this build? Do we got do we got those somewhere? We definitely have fortify. Taunt. Deal 10%. Okay, so all those things matter. Enemies taunted by you. Okay, we've done good. So his physical damage reduction is 55. Okay, and his chaos res is shit. Okay. So he can't get purity of flush because it's so far. Uh, and so... This is where I would say, do you know what Blessed is? This Blessed is better than Towering Threat probably in this spot. And same with Fettel. You could just run two Blessed. It gives you like... Okay, one sec. Let me go find it. Okay, so I just took... I'm going to do you a really great favor. So here we go. I found this. Uh, and you can find Chaos, Res, Armor, Dex, Surging Vitality, 2 Passives, 10C. Okay, look at this, dude. You, you grab this 10C item, small cluster jewel, because you're already using small cluster jewels, so I get to do stuff like this. I don't use small cluster jewels, so I don't get to do stuff like this. But basically, what I just did is um, you gain a bit of chaos res, you save some passives. Okay, that's just that. But then, oh my god. The uh, every five seconds regen 10% of your life over one second. So uh, this is 2% life regen, but it's bulk. And then it gives you an extra half. So 2.5% life regen with increased life. So this is like super sustained. So you're going to add nice recovery to your build. And so 20% of your life is 1,200, 1,100-ish. Um, and so I was also thinking like... You got this nine point. Imagine if this was a seven point. I mean, eight point, and it had the two jewel sockets, and you had two thing, like three things, more cool stuff for your. Yeah, but uh, you you wanted to focus on survivability, so I'm assuming that like you you pro you probably are gonna like surging vitality a lot if you try it, and I would recommend capping your reses and fixing your chaos res through items. Actually, I was going to say do it through clusters, but to be honest, you could just get a little slightly better items. Like that, dude. You could you could work on these. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could get some extra, and then you're gonna open yourself up to having the freedom of, uh. Cap Chaos, you're going to love it. And having Surging Vitality is probably going to help a lot. Um, <clears throat> overall, you could probably raise your life up to like 7,500. And uh, it's probably respecking the skill tree, taking out a lot of this stuff and putting it into another large jewel. And like, I bet if you went for an 8 point large with... Let me look at what... Let me go find a one... So after thinking for a while, looking at your build, uh, some of the nice recommendations that I can come up with based on the stuff I do in my builds and shit is uh, I run a lot of ways to get mitigation in my build, such as I use the purity of element of uh, purity of fire, ice, and lightning to reduce. Uh, to raise my elemental resistances to 81 and 82 fire and I use the Zibakwa cluster jewel to turn a keystone into um, this very powerful 50% uh, of LE taken as chaos having 85 chaos you know actually capping reses and stuff uh, that's what I would recommend. You could raise your flat physical damage reduction because, like, right now you're using Soul of Steel. Uh, you could try to raise the flat physical. Like I pointed out, Surging Vitality is going to help you a lot because you only have, like, 1,200 Leech. Uh, I raised you up to 400 Regen and also got you... It's, like, 1,200 Regen or 1,100 Regen every 5 seconds, uh, which is really sick. It's, like, Devouring Diadem uh, on two small Cluster Jewels. 
which you're going to like way more. Uh, most of what I'm noticing is that most likely what you're going to find is that some of the stuff you've taken isn't worth it probably, and a lot of this pathing just was unnecessary. So you could start to do this, like do you see how if I hold over these three, it tells you 128k DPS, uh, right here it tells you a different number 68k 33k for this one you see how this is for area and the extra range that's why you took that this one you took you took five points just for 271 like i'm not i'm just saying this is what it is it's like you look at each one you can independently see what each thing is offering you for how many points you've spent and then you can compare it to a cluster jewel and see if like for example how much does this one point add 31k wait that's not that much smite the weak is pretty bad what about deep cuts 171,000 from a single point deep cuts is disgusting i want eight of these give me 90 of these how many points did i i mean how much damage did i get 33k 190k what's this what's these three points 68 190 wait a minute I have more stuff to test so you go into here you would slot in this and you would slot in this large because it's cool and you would look at this and you would go how much does each of these add 120k for run through or 134k for run through you get 54k for heavy hitter so it's not that crazy and then you have your 207k deep cuts okay let's look at more one sec this one i wanted to have the alternative of looking at doing the martial prowess instead let's see martial prowess is 92k okay that's pretty good because his build actually was missing some accuracy you notice he only has 95 percent this is pretty bad i technically right now took out impale out of his six link so he's this is only a five link dps and not even six stages and like it's just showing these these cluster jewels are insane dude they're pretty expensive the ones i'm looking at but it's just to like compare them and figure out what is the most powerful. For now, run through and the other one looked pretty good. Smite the weak didn't seem that insane. But the fact that it adds... look, look Does this add impale? Sorry, this one? No. So this was more for the accuracy. But this one's a, a 92k because of the accuracy stuff. And like I was wondering if there was a version of this build where you don't go all this crit stuff. And you just go... Uh, yeah, so Smite the Weak is pretty close when you don't run uh, your Impale because it gives you the extra Impale. That's pretty cool too. Uh, there's a couple other ones I want to check too. Okay, so apparently this is possible. Let me show this. So you could do this jewel. I'm just curious, like, what is this, dude? Okay, uh, so apparently it's less. But yeah, 30... Oh, Devastator's shit in this build, but it has the Explodey. So it gives Explodey, and so it's if you don't care about your own damage... But yeah, the best one for this build is Deep Cuts, and uh, I like the other one. Okay, so I have two more, two more to test. This one, add to build, and this one, these I think are the two best ones. This is what I would recommend for large clusters for the build after testing all the different variations. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Martial Prowess, 88k, gives you the accuracy, it's pretty good, 198k from the deep cuts, and then the Vicious Skewering, 75, and then it gives you the extra Impale, 86, and then if you ran another one, it would get you closer, I believe, that looks like what I was figuring out, or the other one that we could run is the last one, uh, very similar, it's Vicious Skewering, with Smite the Weak instead of Martial Prowess. And then the Deep Cuts is just godly. And so you'd just love to stack this. And then what would be the best mediums? I don't even know if these mediums are insane. You're, you're getting... That one's pretty good. 118k in precise focus. But this one is pretty bad. Oh, you have to have infuse, Infusion. You are infused. Apparently the infusion, rapid infusion, isn't that insane. But then he runs Hexbreaker, which is immune to curses. Okay, that's really cool. What's this one? 5% move speed and 50% increased effect. Oh, it does a lot more stuff than just, look, he gets chaos and life and weird. Well, this one, damage. He knows. He knew that the precise focus was really insane. And then, yeah, this is just crazy life regen with the 5 second effect. 
But then you, yeah, you compare this now, you could spend one point on 194,000, or you spend four points on 37, uh, 237. Four points. Like, 149, 35, like I said, and uh, you might be able to get the the max res and physical damage reduction a better way than Soul of Steel, potentially. Just throwing that out there. Uh, I hope all this can help you, though, by redoing your stuff and then giving showing you hopefully this uh surging vitality can help and maybe pointing out that there's different ways to do large and that you should probably have two or even just running through it with you and you've probably done it too and it's super cool to hear my side of it next one okay so the next one is here we import this name that's a weird as hell name. I don't know how he remembers it. Uh, Necro, he's only 84. I see the problem. Uh, slam. Wait. Maybe he needs the other one. So yeah, he says, can you help me with my zombie build? Oh. My bad. Wait a minute. Maybe that is it, but it starts on a Chaos Golem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zombie build, by the way. Dude, it doesn't do any damage. What the hell? Wait, this is just a league start, bro. Okay, so where is it? Here it is. What the hell is that? Dude, why aren't you using my leveling guide? You want a 21, you want quality, as soon as you can get it, dude. And then your carries are actually the skeletons, and this is basically what I recommend as a budget build. So you're just league starting, just focus on your skeletons for now. Just do do your skeletons, man. Uh, six link, melee fizz, cool. Uh, we can run brutality instead of the impale. And then you get more damage, and now you have 110, sorry, 11k, 75k with the impale, the 11k impale damage, 75k, um, and the impales from the dread banner because you did that. And uh, let's see, is there anything else you did weird? You didn't want the regen, that's fine. You pathed up to there, so you're just league starting, trying to keep the survival. You don't like your enduring bond. When it's four points, you should probably take that. You're already going for the 1,000 strength. You're trying to make a trade change in the build. Oh, you're trying to swap over. Okay, I'm going to leave all this in. And what I'm going to do is say, uh, even though you can get the 1,000 strength. Well, yeah, you're right there, actually. How can you do it? Well, that thing I recommended with the skellies is still relevant. You're barely ready to go zombies, bro. You just have that. So, uh, what the hell? Does that have an open suffix? Can you get strength on that? What about strength on any of these? That has something open, too. Oh, it has 34 strength already. That, you crafted life. That's a lot of strength there. You have the efficient trainings. Yeah, so can't you just get a brawn and, like, take a jewel socket? Um, also, you technically don't... You don't need to do that. You can save three points, four points or whatever. Um, chaos res is probably a problem. You probably want that. Uh, you probably don't need this. 
You don't need that. You probably take this for extra damage. Took the efficient training there, there, there. Uh, he needs the strength. Very interesting. Take the four five billion points to do that. And this jewel socket for an extra brawn. Uh, and he needed... Dude, I'm surprised you can't anoint the, um, the death attunement by now. That's so many points saved, if you can. Three points. Well, he didn't like this anyways, apparently. We don't need to put that in. It's fine, then he had one extra point. He can have the extra life back. It's the same thing, technically, pathing from here then. technically the same thing it's technically better but okay so this is uh huh and then he's 959 he has uh two extra jewel sockets the same points uh he should be able to fit the brawn in but it's gonna kill his intelligence so yeah he can't run all these efficient trainings he has to take one out which then i really just recommend getting like an extra item or oh he doesn't need to run he can run strength intelligence gems, possibly enough, or he could just do this with one of the extra points I had, which I gave back to here. There you go, 84, two extra jewel sockets, 175, you just grab a quick brawn, here it is, there's your build dude. I'll leave a link to the to it in the description below, of course, for you. There you go. Uh, it should be pretty cheap to get one of those. One int, so you can now get a 10 strength, 10 int for probably 1c. Just a regular jewel, and there you go. All right. Let me get that. One sec. Okay, so I searched up literally just strength int, and now I just grab this. Uh, grab his build and go yay and put it in and then slot it in the spot and there you go how much was it uh one alt one alchemy one jeweler's orb it's super cheap there you go and what does the build look like now thousand and three strength 166 int it was super budget easy peasy we reworked it so he has uh seventy thousand per skelly 700,000 dps if he val skellies he's gonna summon a bunch of them you already know okay pog champ just a slightly better adjustment of what he had and uh yeah making this shit better okay so the next one is djs88 and his thing is djsoc so here we go let's pull this up uh search so let's go delirium let's go oc let's go pull up the stone golem let's get the slam let's get the config uh let's get his cluster jewels he definitely has the rotting claws this is our build pog champ he just what did he say low damage okay let's see what his damage is 791,000 times 8. He has the whole build. What the hell is that one point? Did I do that? I'll just assume I did it. Oh. Uh, he's low on int. Why would he do that point? Why not this one? So low on damage. Dude, you have 23 mana. You could add an extra aura. You know what Skitterbots does? Fifteen percent. Oh, that's too much. Oh, you run haste still. Oh. Oh, you're the haste one. That's even crazier. Can you imagine? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's haste. Wow. Look at all your aura, aura options. <laughs> so then you run defenses. You run defense auras. So that he could then spend the other things that he's doing in the build for damage instead of... Yeah, so like, you see how this belt, or this jewel, is just pure tank? He could go pure damage. This, get some damage on those. Like, I've been finding out you can get damage on these things. Like, oh, you could wear a soccer walls, dude. Where's your avian? Your helmet? Uh, have you seen my new helmet or getting an enchant on the helmet for the stone golems? How much damage that adds? There's a lot of options. Lots of things that you can do for damage uh, through items and stuff. But how would you do it cheaply through what you already have? Well, you have the haste. Haste doesn't add very much, as you saw. Um... It's decent. It's pretty decent, but uh, it was a low level, so it doesn't. It didn't do very much. Uh, let's see how many harmonies does he have? Okay, watch this. Does he have carry on golem? No, he only has the two golems. Okay, watch this. More damage. More damage. Now he has 824k just by switching some eminences. Um, and yet it still blows my mind that he has 23% mana reserve, right? Because this is like the thing about that helmet. The current helmet he's wearing, Devouring to Adam. It, you can reserve such crazy amounts of stuff and there's not even um, no Enlighten. It's just crazy. And so you could literally just add... Well, is it here? Yeah. Hmm. If he put this in the chest plate instead. Is this in the chest plate? No, it's in the weapon anyways. Oh, he has Intimidate. Oh my god, he has some stuff. Wait, he has real damage. And he's complaining about damage? He'd have Maim. He'd have... Maybe he just didn't know about clicking all the stuff. We're like really close to fitting that, that extra. How did, wait, where did our mana go? Oh, it was here. I tried to fit flesh and stone. Doesn't fit, but we have 1.4 times eight and he, wait, low damage. Wait a minute, let me just. He's only 92. Yo, golems are broken. Okay, that's it for that build. There's nothing to do there. <laughs> the fact is, I could have improved it. Broken build, broken build, alert, broken build, completely fucking broken. We did something. Holy shit, what did I just watch? Okay, uh, next clip. We got this one. There's no message, but Brandon, I got you, man. I'll do my best. Uh, that one I'm not linking a POB for, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you could actually switch some of those harmonies to eminences for more damage. I improved your build with one of my build uh, videos. I was right. Look at that, dude. Okay, uh, let's import this. Leather, no. Delirium. Delhi Necro. He started as, an, uh, as a Necro and now he's an Elementalist. You hate to see it. Uh, Stone Golem, Slam. Ooh. Let's get the skill tree first, okay. Yeah, look how beautiful this is. Man, this build is broken, dude. This build is broken. Imagine if I touched heralds with the video that I'm put out. I'm putting out today. If I went and did a herald build, I would have broke that too. I, I just proved it today with that thing. No one did any herald stuff, and look, I just broke it today with looking at it in five seconds. It was great. Oh my god, this build is so powerful. Look at this. Does he got the maim too? Dude, does he... Oh, oh, maim, culling strike. He's got it all, dude. It's so powerful. Does he have the awakened... Oh my god, he didn't even... Le he just wanted me to look at his build. He's like, look, I did it. Look at how good this build... Oh my god, dude. He's pumping out 2.3 to Cyrus. 
<laughs> I love it. So build review. Okay, let's look. This is my build, dude. But wait, I submit. I, I imported someone else. He's only 93, 4,500 life. I'm guessing... Wow, he actually has a curse one. And he had the mana reduction. What's his watcher's eye? Oh, wait, where's his watcher's eye? Dude, he has all the mana reduction jewels, too. Where's the watcher's eye? Oh. Haha, <laughs> two mod watcher's eye. He's got everything, dude. Look at this. Oh, I'm so proud. Oh my god, I don't know what's up with the mana reserve, but yeah, he uses the purities. He uses everything. He has the build. He loves it. He had no complaint. Did you see that, guys? Let me go back. There's no complaint. He just switched from Necro to my build, and he said, Yup, you're right. This build's sick. Look at this fucking damage. Oh my god, it's too easy, bro. Now I'm curious. Did he watch the videos? Here, let's, let's find out. Wait, which one's not perfect? 4519, 4517, 4316. He started to go really budget here on his uh, rolls on these harmonies. So this one, you might be able to swap out for a juicy. Wait, even his eminences aren't rolled perfectly. Oh no. Oh wait, because probably rolling the mana reserved is hard. Okay, here, let's swap it and see. You gain damage switch, switching harmony to eminence. Okay, let's try this one. You gain more damage, and that's it. I wouldn't recommend going past that. I, I recommend at least one harmony. But, uh, isn't that disgusting that you already had so much flat damage in your build that you actually get more? Wait a minute, dude. Dude, he actually... Wait a minute. Wait, let's see the Ami. Okay, he didn't. It's slightly better. Wait. It's two more than me. He's flexing. Why does he have a plus one boot? Oh my god, it's the guy who bought the chest plate and had me recolor it on the stream. Golem... Ellie res, but your uh your golems are immune to elemental damage. Be so advice: your golems are immune to elemental damage, and you actually need to get um a plus level in the helmet because the purities only give you at twenty two four percent max res. You need twenty three for one percent more. So you're one off of 1% more. So I can actually give advice on this build. That's really nice that even he has all the items and even he missed some stuff. Um, ooh, reflect, reduce reflected Ellie. You're trolling. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, you're not doing Ellie. You have brutality. He has it all though. Wake and multi everything, dude. Damn. Nice build. No quality on your flask. No quality. That one has quality. He has life flask. He you don't need um freeze immune because you're an elementalist. Uh I kept yeah, I, I haven't switched my stuff either, but you're immune to Ellie. Uh ailments. So can't be frozen, etc. A uh, nice build though, and uh, Jesus, you put a lot into it. So there's a little bit of improvement to make that I've hopefully helped you with. So yeah, the enchant, you don't need uh, Ellie res on your minions. That's why we can go without having this and this. And if, they are, if your chaos golem is dying, it's probably the life or the physical cha uh, or chaos res. Physical damage reduction or chaos res, not Ellie. That's what it's dying to. There you go. Hope that could help you. This is pretty interesting. That can't be better. 
Is it exactly the same? It's oh wow, it is better. Oh, except you spend one travel point. Okay. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for all the submissions. Uh, thank you guys for all the advice. Uh, or I mean all the builds. Uh, this one, he has my build, PogChamp, but he, he still made a couple things. So uh, we'll see what he does instead in the future. And what direction we still take the build, because there's some things we're doing with it. Um, thank you guys for all the build submissions though. This was really fun Do it going through the Herald build. The Impale Champion was really tough. I don't really know it very well. But thank you guys for all the builds and thank you for the time. And I hope this could help a few people. Uh, at least one could probably learn from this, hopefully. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank anyone new who joins the Patreon or the YouTube members. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'd like to thank my recent uh, YouTube member, Pascal. Thank you for joining, dude. And uh, thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!